Hey, what's happening? This is Grizz um, with a quick tutorial on how to edit chords in your smart instruments on GarageBand iOS. So uh, once you open up a project, you can select the uh, acoustic guitar, for instance. Um, it's not only acoustic in there, there are ways to change the type of guitar you can use as well, which is pretty cool. Um, like, you know, electric and uh, distorted or and whatnot, depending on what the style. Uh, but the, um, the chords are going to stay, uh, the chord layout is going to stay the same. We're going to go with the acoustic guitar today. Um, select the gear symbol on the top right corner and select song settings. Scroll down to edit chords. The first tab and first chord is going to be highlighted and uh, whatever tab is highlighted is the uh, chord that you will be editing. Um, so the first one defaults to E minor. I'm going to go ahead and change it to E major 7th, for example. I like those chords. So uh, The bass section is going to dictate what the lowest note in the chord is going to be. So even if it's a E major 7th, you can change it to be like an E major 7th with uh, A on the bottom instead of an E. So that's all, that's all the bass is. It's going to dictate if you have a slash chord. So um, you can demo the chords as you uh, make your selections as well. If you want to experiment, um, it, it, go, it has a lot of detail in there. So, um, you know, just play around with it and uh, use whatever uh, suits your song or composition. So the E minor 7th. 13 E minor 13 you know it, you pretty much just just play around and see whatever sounds cool if you know chords perfect if you don't uh, it's a cool way to kind of get an idea on uh you know what certain chords sound like uh, on certain instruments so uh, it's a fun tool to play with and uh you know really comes in handy and like i said before uh select whatever tab um you want to edit and uh you have up to eight chords at a time Again, you know, choose whatever suits your song, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And uh, once you make your selections, you go ahead and uh, go back to um, your default view once you hit done or save. And uh, go back into your default view and uh, record your composition. Um, like I said before, uh, there are multiple smart instruments, uh, not only guitar. Um, there's also Smart Piano, which is a, a cool tool as well. If you just want to utilize a, a different type of sound um, with full chords. So uh, I hit that screen uh, button on the top left next to the downward arrow. And uh, to take you back out into the uh, instrument selection screen. And uh, scroll over until you find the keyboard section and hit Smart Piano. And the chords that you uh, chose for the guitar are going to show up uh, the same way for the piano. And uh, the same exact cues. So uh, you're going to have, uh, you know, tap the top right corner of the gear. And um, you know, go into uh, uh, edit, uh, song settings and then uh, edit chords. And do the same exact thing that you did before. Um, the cool thing about it is, um, there are only eight, uh, slots for the, um, the smart courts or, or the smart instrument courts, uh, custom court sections. Um, but you know, the cool thing is you can record, uh, sections. So if you, you know, have eight that work for, uh, section A, then you can do it, you know, do your, uh, B and C section, whatever different sections of the song, uh, after you make your recordings, you can go ahead and switch, uh, the A chords, uh, if you want to make any sudden key changes or, 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 you know, changes to the chords that are going to be used, or progression. <laughs> it's my baby in the background, if you can hear that. He's, he's contributing his, uh, his input as well. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is, um, the custom chord section of your, your smart instruments in GarageBand iOS. I hope this was helpful. Um, happy creating. Peace.